Now let us move to the next difference that is direction. In geometric angle there is no direction. So let's assume this is a uh, this is a uh, this is a two ray system again OA and OX and the angle between them is theta. And now if we flip that uh, this figure and draw another angle uh, or another ray here a prime let's call it a prime the angle will again be theta if the angular distance between this ray and this ray is uh, equal to the angular distance between this ray and this ray so as you can see there is no direction in geometric angle but in trigonometry if we draw a fixed ray ox sorry it will be x x and there is o and another ray OA and OA and let's assume OB and the ray OA is revolving in this direction in this direction so that is the anti-clockwise direction uh, anti-clockwise direction and this ray, the ray OB, is revolving in that clockwise direction. So, as you can see, I'm writing direction here. So, there needs to be a direction in trigonometry. So, let's assume the angular distance between uh, OX and OA is equal to the angular distance between OX and OB. But when we are going to write theta, the actual value of this angular distance will be uh, an actual value of angular distance between OX and OB will be minus theta because in trigonometry we consider anti-clockwise direction or the anti-clockwise rotation as positive so the opposite direction that is the clockwise direction is negative so if a ray is moving in this direction the angle between o o the fixed ray and the revolving ray will be always positive and if a ray, another ray is revolving in this direction that is the clockwise direction the angle between them will be negative so if a ray uh, covers a uh, revolution that is it starts from the line or ray OX or the X axis and moves in this direction gradually and comes back again to the x axis so the distance between the distance between the distance between the, this ray that is the ox ray and the revolving ray or the oa ray let's say that this ray is also here oa will be 360 degree 360 degree in geometric angle 360 degree in geometric angle or geometry let's say uh, write geometry but as I said before we turn the clockwise direction as negative so the actual angular distance between the ray OX and the OA in trigonometry will be minus 360 degree because as I told you before the ray is moving in, and, uh, in clockwise direction so it's the, uh, the angle between these two rays it will be minus 360 degree in trigonometry in trigonometry trigonometry in trigonometry so so the uh, so as i said before there are so, I, uh, so now you can see the three main differences between Geometric angle and trigonometric angle first is in the definition first one is definition definition second one is a range or I have written as I have written before limitation of geometric angle but no limitation in case of trigonometric angle and the third one is the results of direction in trigonometry, presence of variation, presence of direction, 
that is there is no uh, presence of direction or uh, direction isn't uh, uh, measuring fact in case of geometry but in trigonometry uh, uh, measuring the direction is a must and the measuring direction of rotation is a must so let uh, so I hope you understand the difference between geometric and trigonometric angle quite well so I haven't told you anything ever I haven't told you anything ever positive and negative angles but as you can see uh, if something moves in the uh, anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise anti-clockwise direction uh, so let's write in a short form okay we call it positive angle positive angle <coughs> but uh, if another way is moving in clockwise direction clockwise direction that angle will be negative angle because the angular distance it is traversing from the fixed ray OX will always be negative so I hope this topic is clear to you right now so if it's clear let's jump to the next topic